You will soon have to pay to use major roads in the country. Transport Cabinet Secretary Kipchumba Murkomen made this announcement while, uh, uh, or rather during the launch of the Kenya National Highways Authority strategic plan for 2023 to 2027. This even as the government seeks more sustainable ways to fund the cost of maintaining roads. Jasmine Wamboy reports. Breath for tougher times because you will soon be paying to use highways. Cabinet Secretary for Roads and Transport Kipchumba Murkomen says the government plans to not only expand major roads but to also charge road users for using the roads. The template is already there with what we did with the expressway. While hailing the public-private funding model that was implemented for the Nairobi Expressway, the CS says that they will begin implementing the road toll model on some of the most commonly used roads. I believe that we can toll the road from Art River to Namanga. I believe that it is possible to toll the road from um, Galeria to Rongai to Ngong and back to Karen Shopping Centre. I believe also that it is possible for us to expand and toll the road of Kiambu Road. The announcement by CS Kipchumba Murkomen that the government through the ministry plans to expand some of the busiest roads in Nairobi and then charge users for the very roads should come as no shock to a country that is already overburdened by increments in taxes in just a little over a year. But in case you cannot afford to pay the toll fees, the CS says there are alternatives. The good news is that we have so many alternative routes along these corridors that those who do not wish to pay to pay toll fees, we will give them those alternative roads. And there's more. The cabinet secretary has hinted at an increase in the road maintenance levy fund, saying the cost of maintaining roads has shot up. The fund collected at the pump is currently set at 18 shillings per litre. The Kenya Roads Board had late last year proposed to increase the levy to 23 shillings per litre on account of inflation. This would mean an exponential jump in the cost of fuel. If you look at the money allocated to Kenya in the road maintenance levy, the 40%, I can say without fear of contradiction that Kenya in the next two years will not be able to meet its responsibilities in terms of maintaining the roads to the standards they have done before. The looming prospect of tolls on major roads and a potential hike in the road maintenance levy fund shifts the responsibility to citizens to help the government in raising the 708 billion shillings that the Kenyan National Highways Authority says it needs to improve the road infrastructure network over the next five years. Jasmine Wamboi, Citizen TV, Nairobi.